Hello everyone, welcome back. And as you can see here, it is pretty obvious that today we're looking at making the famous snails in garlic butter. Yes, the famous French recipe that it's a kind of a love and hate relationship, but we still need to know how to make that recipe. Now today I'm just gonna try to answer basically three um, main questions. The first one is really like, where on earth do you find snails if you want to prepare them? That's the first thing. The second thing we're going to look at is uh, how do you cook snails? And the third one is how, how do you eat these things? So what is the proper way of serving them and eating them? So let's have a look. All right, so let's have a look exactly at the first question, which is where can I find Snails. Now, snails can be uh, found in farms. There are actually snail farms that exist. We can buy them fresh, roaming around, and you can buy them live. But the problem with that is that snails is not the type of animal you can buy from the farm, bring home, and cook straight away because there's a process of cleaning the snails that takes forever, at least two or three days, and it's absolutely not suited for home cooking. So basically, you can find snails in a farm, but you're never going to do this because it's really not good for home cooking. Now, the other option to find uh, snails is this. This is the typical thing you're going to get, even in France. They are basically snails that have been already prepared in brine. So this is your base you're going to use. And what you're going to do, basically, when you want to find a snail, you're going to buy this in a supermarket or like a delicatessen type of shop. And from there, you're going to assemble your snails back together. So as you can see these little shells, you can buy those separately, they're empty shells, uh, snail shells. And we're gonna make basically that garlic butter with all these lovely ingredients. I've got some look at these fresh herbs from the garden, just pick that outside, it's raining, it's beautiful. Butter, garlic, shallots, and we're gonna boil the, <coughs> the snails a little bit, give them some extra flavor, and put everything back in there with the butter, the snail, and then serve them on a plate. And now for the second question, how do you cook or prepare snails in garlic butter, the French way, the French recipe? The first thing I'm going to be using, snail shells. They are empty shells. You can find them in some special shop. For the ingredients, four garlic cloves. I've got 20 grams of shallots, or one small shallots. A few, uh, this is thyme, a few branches of thyme. One bay leaf, about a handful uh, of parsley, you can take flat leaf parsley or curse leaf parsley, so about 20 grams, 100 grams of plain butter, and this is soft butter. Mm. As you can see, you have to leave it outside for some time before you start cooking. And of course, the final ingredient, the snails in brine. This can contains two dozen snails, but that recipe should, mm, you know, should be enough to make about a dozen, maybe 15 snails. Now, garlic butter can be made very quickly with a food processor and if you're lazy like me that's what i'm gonna do because you know always chopping even though there's not much to chop you can put this in a food processor start with the garlic and shallots give it a whiz as you can see everything is kind of chopped and i'm gonna add straight off the parsley in there and do the same and mix it until it's totally processed to a fine grind okay and now that we got the herbs chopped, we're gonna add our butter. Now the reason you start with your butter is because it needs to infuse a little bit in the fridge for all the aromas to go into the butter. So first the butter, and then you move on into making the snails, okay? So for your butter, this is a soft butter. And you can start by incorporating bits of butter at a time, and make sure you mix it well with everything. So at first, it's going to be a bit difficult because you have to break down the pieces. But you keep doing this and you keep mixing. And eventually, it's going to start to go all together and it's going to be nicely blended. All right. When you hear a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and that's gonna be it. You give it a final, final mix, a few minutes, and you're done. And now for the snails, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is how they look like, look at that. They're just like pieces of meat, really. 
but uh, kind of brownish in color but we're gonna uh, give them some taste back so what I've done here I've drained them out of the can rinsed them into clear water I've put one liter of water in here this is a vegetable stock a little cube half a stock and I'm throwing in a bit of thyme and one bay leaf I'm gonna wait until this brings uh, comes to the boil and when it's ready I'm gonna put my stairs in for a few minutes when your water reaches the boil you're gonna reduce your heat to a simmer because you don't want to boil everything because that's really bad for the ingredients you want a gentle simmer okay take your snails all in there and we're gonna leave these little snails simmer for just about two or three minutes before we take them out so after a few minutes you discard your garnish and immediately you can put your fire off or your heat off and you're gonna take your snails out and put them back onto your sieve okay and when you're done you're gonna leave the snails to rest at room temperature first and then you can put them in the fridge to accelerate the process until they are cold and now for the final part assembling the snails this is I think the most exciting thing the rest is a bit long-winded before you start this make sure you preheat your oven at 220 degrees Celsius I'll try to put the equivalent in, in Fahrenheit uh, on the video description so this is the equipment I've got my snails I've got the snail butter I've got my shells and this is where I'm gonna put my snails I put some rock salt this is basically to assure I'm gonna have a stable base to just show you four or five snails so the way we go about it take a little spatula a spatula you take an empty shell apparently it says you need to take a little bit of butter that you put at the bottom of the shell like that okay you take one snail that you push inside not too far otherwise you can't get it afterwards and you basically finish off with a good amount of butter so let's do another one huh? a, bit, a bit first so a little bit of butter at the bottom okay you take your snail you put the snail inside you push it in a little bit not too far because it's going to be hard to get and you finish off with another layer of butter and you make sure it's nice and clean at the top and this is what you get that's it okay so when you're going to have four or five snails in there that's the equivalent of a dish we're going to cook this in the oven for 10 minutes at 200 and 20 degrees Celsius or the equivalent or on Fahrenheit all right all right the 10 minutes have passed and look at this it is still boiling hot <laughs> so this is nothing more than 10 minutes that you have to cook these things now to try the snails sorry but I didn't find any fork for the snails and look what I've got a bloody toothpick now that's gonna be something happily for me I've got this thing so this is the tool you need to use apparently for snails when I'm not eating snails very often at all so basically I'm gonna try to grab one Pork. whoa it works hey look at that so you basically have to hold your snail you don't burn your fingers and if you have the metal fork that goes like for the snails it's perfect but if not you're basically taking this this is the snail and garlic butter. Mmm, eh. actually, not bad. Up, oh. hey, it's like a big clam. So this one, it's a bit of a game of trying to get that the piece of meat out. And whoa, there you go again. Ah, mmm, okay, well, not bad actually it's not bad but guys that answers the three questions on how to you know find the snails prepare them and then eat them when this is cooler you can actually take the the shells and drink the lovely butter but i can't do this right now because it's too hot but anyway that concludes the video of the day i hope you enjoyed that little snail video it's uh, it's gonna be a love and a hate relationship as always, please comment and let me know what you think about these videos, what you think about the snails and do you eat snails, so we can have a bit of a discussion going on. As for me, I see you on the next video for some more French recipe. Bye bye.